Breaking Facebook misinformation healthcare crisis. The unsafe killer. Unsafe, unsafe, unsafe. It's unsafe, folks. You understand unsafe, don't you? You do understand unsafe, right? Unsafe? Facebook misinformation healthcare is a crisis that will doom us all. But there is a way out, and that involves making sure Facebook is able to define fact from fiction, medical orthodoxy from quackery, and protect the people from the liars and the idiots. That's their general approach to misinformation in general, and that's a problem far more threatening to the security and well-being of the people that they allege to represent than anything they could possibly protect the people from in the first place. And this is from Politico.com. Just how big is Facebook misinformation problem? And by the the, the Alexandra S. Levin, written on August 19th, 2020 at 10 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Damn, sound the alarm on Facebook and health medicine foul. That's how it's written. I didn't write it that way. Democratic lawmakers are sounding off over a, a new report from an activist group that finding that networks spreading bogus health news racked up an estimated 3.8 billion views on Facebook this past year alone. I added the alone part for the melodrama. By the way, in Facebook, if it's 3.8 billion views, it's really three. Probably. Your, your 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 brother, your sister, and your Uncle Fred has really shouldn't be looking at your videos. Just not the way that he does. We're going to move on. What's new? Website disseminating false or misleading health news generated nearly half a billion views on the social media platform in April alone, Vought said, with the trend peaking just as states across the U.S. expanded lockdowns Due to the pandemic. Hey, I like adding that. I like. I, like, I want you to feel what they want you to feel. According to a dispatch out this morning from Cristiano. And the report found that 10 super spreaders. Super spreaders. Of health misinformation. Racked up four times as many views as the top ten leading global health agencies that same month. Uh oh, global health agencies. So listen, our global health agencies that have been like caught in like stuff. I mean, it is true, by the way. Like. The devil will tell you four lies to tell you, four truths to tell you one lie. Well, in their case, they probably tell way more than four truths to one lie. I'm sure they have a lot higher ratio as far as truths to lie, truths such as we can know it. But it's, it's, it doesn't matter when, when, and at the fundamental place and times that so many of these World Health Agencies, well, anyway, let me just go on. Let me just go on because you just want to hear. You just want to hear what they have to say. You're not even here to listen to me, and that's terrible. What Dems are saying, congressional Democrats who have acu long accused Facebook of failing to take misinformation on its platform seriously enough, are hammering the company over the study. These findings destroy the fundamental flaw in Facebook's business model. It values lies over lives boy you think that they 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 uh they they focus group that all right everybody what do we think of lies over lies makes me want to kill my neighbors all right lies over lives it is says representative anna ashu democrat california chair of the house energy and commerce health Submitted subcommittee isn't that great that's great Somebody that has that kind of view of the world is in charge. 
So cool. Senator Elizabeth Warren uh, responded by alluding to her past calls to break up Facebook, saying, No company should be too big to be held accountable for distorting facts and spreading falsehoods, especially during a public health crisis. She's like the kind of mom Ted Kennedy. Isn't she like the mom Ted Kennedy? That's kind of what she is, right? What Facebook's saying, we share Avatz's goal of limiting inf- misinformation, but their findings don't reflect the steps we've taken to keep it from spreading on our services, Facebook spokesman Andy Stone said in a statement ahead of the report's release. What does uh, Google News want to tell us about Facebook misinformation healthcare? You know, you guys... You missed all the visual faces, but you know I keep my face out of that part for a reason. But I want to I want to I want to highlight what what the actual article that I'm 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 beginning my spin off of said. You know, because I'm a decent human being. Facebook missing. Oh, I'm sorry about this. Sorry, but I'm trying to remember because of my new settings. Up close. Facebook misinformation healthcare crisis. This is what Google News has to say. World Health Organization immunizing the public against misinformation. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> hey, man, these world global health organizations, they're getting clocked by these other people. Like, we're just going to call it all misinformation. Any, you know, I'd like to know what the vast swath of stuff in that area that they call misinformation. Maybe it's, maybe it's not exactly... 100 percent or maybe it's theoretical and it's kind of speculative or maybe it really is like more true than than some of the crap they put out who knows who knows what they're calling misinformation but anyway they're getting their clocks clicked their clocks clicked they're getting their clocks clicked so that the 10 super super producers of misinformation that are outside of the control of the wealth world health organizations are better than the 10 biggest world health organizations of misinformation so one misinformation group is ticked at another information misinformation group and the one in misinformation group has power and then has some gatekeepers in whatever massive well the ma- the structures are massive the controllers are are few the the way that we disseminate our news, our data. And uh, the World Health Organizations, they have that advantage over these uh, these other, these, uh, they are the, the pamphleteers of their time, the English Civil War. English Civil War, man, you should really study the English Civil War. There's so many things about the English Civil War that's relevant about today. Even even what they struggled with, what they called, they, they, they would have understood. If you said fake news, they would have understood what you were talking about. They would have had people that they would have named us you mean like that that guy down there that prints that fake news pamphlet against saying saying catholics eat babies that one <clears throat> that was like the birthplace of american newspapers in a lot of ways the english civil war ask ask around ask about the uh and before that there was also <coughs> a group of pamphleteers about 100 years before them also english and uh, these were another group that literally were called the pamphleteers. I call the other group pamphleteers, even though they're not formally called that. But these, these were the pamphleteers of. Uh, well, you had, you had the pamphleteers of the what would be to some degree the Protestant Reformation. I'll just I'll just leave it to that for simple terms because we don't want to go too long here. But that was in the 1500s. Before that, right around the time of. Uh, um, oh, what the heck is his name? The William Tyler pie, pie? Is it William? Man, wow, what the heck? Little brain here. Uh, <coughs> Tyndale, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, there, I escaped it. Tyndale. Tyndale Bible, right. Right, right. right around the period of Tyndale, you had a lot of people that were printing stuff and doing stuff. Even before that, there was printing, but it wasn't becoming, as, it wasn't as widespread, but then you had this period of pamphleteering and and you even had laws passed during the time to try to regulate who could have printing presses, who could have printing licenses, and who could share with the public, and all kind. And all of it was under the guise of it's unsafe. It's, these people are being told to say, we have to control them, and it always ended up being 
just whoever held the and it would switch sometimes you get one faction and be like okay hammer down your printing presses now you're the ones that are illegitimate and then another group would be, no 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 your group is illegitimate no your group is illegitimate no your group is, no you're the fake news no you're the and basically the fake news is <coughs> the, the fake news is whoever doesn't have access to government guns that's kind of what it ends up being. <coughs> That's kind of the road that it uh, kind of takes you on down. And and there you have it. I th I don't know if we. I don't I don't think we need anything more to say other than that. So we'll. I think. Uh, I I I think that we're done. I don't think that there's much to say as far as the little section here that I uh, would. Uh, I got to pick my ear, man. And my ear is freaking itching, man. Probably, probably means I'm gonna die. Oh, by the way, I just let you guys know my glasses are in crap shape, and uh, I do have an appointment coming up uh, in September to get new glasses. So I will be having some glasses, which maybe would be these glasses are beat. The, I actually these are my older, older glasses. These glasses were glasses that I had two years ago, and then I have a new pair of glasses. And they got issues. And, well, anyway, I got issues. I got issues when it comes to glasses, but I'm bringing it together. Bringing it together. We're going to have glasses right now. My glasses are kind of out of kilter. You're just going to have to deal with that for the next few videos. Well, the next uh, few, uh, a lot of videos, because we're talking about the end of September. And that's just the way it is, kids. That's just the way it is, cause uh, my my doc my my eye popper person, my eye popper, my peeper person, my peeper person is booked up, and that's just the way it is. So that's just the way it is. So there you go. Whatever they want to call it, it's just it it, it just ignore all the the appeals to moralities from everyone and everything else and, and just know what it is it's just a reflection of the reality of power factions that feel like they have the control will favor some sort of moral constructs to justify shutting the door behind them and factions that don't have that moral control will appeal to something outside of that moral control in this case we have the, the king the bill of rights is the king they would they might appeal to the king or yeah that, that would be their first choice to appeal to the king in our case our appeal to the king is the is the bill of rights and, <clears throat> and their counter to that is that's just what a racist would say that's that's of course the counter by the way that's essentially it right there that's it and it is by the way what a racist would say but it is also what somebody would say that's like no 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 i'm not giving you power over my mind I'm not going to see secede my mind to your thoughts and say, okay, yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna approve, think, do whatever you tell me to do. Nope. That's not the way it's gonna work. I would rather face the danger of a madman with a gun than to face the danger of a state that has the power to define what a madman is. And that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about the state being able to find define exactly what misinformation is. And there is misinformation, and then there is, if you're selling something, deception, fraud. That's another thing. But misinformation, no. No, we're not we're not trying to we're not trying to police news outlets into not being because if we were gonna do that, then you would have to shut down all the news outlets fundamentally especially especially the very news outlets that are pushing for this in the first place the voxes and the new york times and the washington post those those will be the first thing that you'd shut down if i'm being honest so there you go thank you for watching breaking facebook misinformation healthcare crisis the unsafe killer we'll see you on on the next episode of whatever this is this is actually the this is the whole series. Uh, every single one of these, this is an episode and the whole series and show and everything. It's the first and last episode of, of the series. So this was the series, Breaking Facebook Misinformation Healthcare Crisis, The Unsafe Scaler. This is the first episode of the first series, which is also the last episode of the last series. God bless. <laughs>